Hello, my name is Arti and we are going to solve practice problem 6.7 from Sadiku book. So the question is find the voltage across each of the capacitors. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 capacitors and we are asked to find the voltage across each of it. This one, this one, this one, this one. We have V1, V2, V3 and V4. So we have hints here. So we have two formula. The first one is the charge of capacitor is equal to the capacity multiplied by voltage. And the second clue is the current is a derivative of the charge over time. So we will work with this two formula. So the first step is to calculate the total charge that available in the circuit total charge so in order to do that we need to find the equivalent uh, capacitance of the circuit so we will have this voltage source here we have 90 volt and we have a uh, equivalent capacitor here so let's name this C equivalent so the C equivalent is the total capacitance of this circuit so let's do that the first one is to find this part so we have this 60 microfarad and 30 microfarad in series so we will have that part this part so let's name this part part one let's use red here so this 60 microfarad and 30 microfarad is part one okay let's do part one so the formula of series capacitance is 1 over C series is equal to 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2. So we need to find out this one, the CS, and we just plug the value of C1, which is 60, and the value of C2, which is 30. Okay, so we do some simple calculation. We need to make the denominator the same so i will have this plus this is 3 over 60 and that makes that cs is the inverse of this 60 divided by 3 which is 20 microfarad okay this is for the part one and then let's move on this one this 20 microfarad is parallel with this one so we will have this one here let's name this one part two okay let's name this one part two and the total capacitance of parallel we just need to sum it so c1 plus c2 and this one is this one so we'll have 20 microfarad plus this one is also 20 microfarad so we will have 40 microfarad okay now we have this one this 40 microfarad in series with all of this and all of this is 40 microfarad so let's name all of this as part 3. So let's do it here because it will not be long. So I will have part 3. So in part 3 we have this 40 para series with 40. Which means that 1 over CS is equal to 1 over 40 plus 1 over 40 which makes 
1 over cs is equal to 2 divided by 40 and that makes cs is we just flip this so we'll have 40 divided by 2 which is 20 microfarad and this 20 microfarad is the equivalent capacitance so this one will be 20 microfarad okay our whiteboard is full let's pause it here and i will clean and we just go to the next step okay i have cleaned the board so now we have this circuit here the simplified circuit of this one and we can just plug this into the formula number one which is q is equal to cv q is equal to cv okay the voltage is 90 volt and the c is 20 microfarad so we just need to multiply that 20 microfarad multiplied by 90 volt which is 100 and not 100 1800 and the unit is micro coulomb because this is farad and this is volt which means coulomb and we have the micro so this is the charge of total capacitance okay let's move on to the next step let's see v1 okay how to calculate this v1 okay because v1 is here and this capacitor is actually in series with this three one these three capacitors so this will series into this and remember that i is the derivative of q over time so this q the charge is also inherit the the what is it um, the characteristic of the current so the charge here will be the same as the charge in the total charge in the these three capacitor so we just need to use this value and plug that into the formula of number one which is q of capacitor number one is equal multiplied by v1 so i will have c1 c1 is 40 microfarad 40 microfarad and then the q the charge is 100 not 100 1800 micro coulomb and this multiplied by v1 so v1 will be 1800 micro coulomb divided by 40 microfarad so we can just cancel the micro here and this one 120 180 dibagi, divided by 4 which is 45 volt so this is v1 so we have the value of v1 okay let's save this here and i will clean the board okay now we need to calculate v2 so what can we do here is to observe this node here so v2 is this node voltage relative to the ground okay let's put this as our ground so v2 is this node so that's mean that v1 minus i mean not v1 this node this node is 90 yeah so i will have 90 minus this node this node is v2 90 minus v2 is equal to this one which is v1 and we have the value of v1 so we will have 90 minus v2 is equal to 45 so we will have v2 is 90 minus 
45 which is v2 is equal to 45 oh. okay let's save this so i will have v2 is equal to 45 4 okay let's move on to the next part okay now we need to calculate v3 okay v3 is here but to do that we need to know something so now remember that v3 plus v4 this one plus this one is equal to this one because this is parallel circuit so this is parallel with this so we'll have the same voltage with v2 so we'll have v3 plus v4 is equal to 45 okay let's have this let's name this equation number one and if we remember that part one here we have the equivalent capacitor of this this part one only is 20 microfarad so we can calculate the charge that available in this part so i will have q is equal to c equivalent multiplied by uh, v3 plus v4 and c equivalent is 20 microfarad and then v3 plus v4 is 45 so i will have 900 micro coulomb in this part of the circuit okay let's save this and let's calculate v3 and v4 okay now how to calculate v3 okay remember that the charge here will be the same as the charge here because this is series circuit and charge works like current so the charge here and the charge here will be the same because this is series circuit so we work at v3 first and remember that q is cv our q is 900 micro coulomb and then the value of the capacitor is 60 60 microfarad and we need to find out the voltage so i will have the voltage will be 900 micro coulomb divided by 60 microfarad and that makes that v3 is equal to 15 volt okay now let's have this so we'll have v3 is 15 volt and then the last one we just need to repeat this for v4 so we have q is equal to cv and q is 900 and our c is 30 microfarad and that makes v4 is 900 divided by 30 which is 30 volt so this is the value of v4 this is the value of v4 i will have 30 volt So we have all the voltages that are in the problem. Hopefully I did not make any mistakes in the calculation. Uh, see you in the next video. Let me know if I made any mistakes in the calculations in the comment. Do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.